you go that side, I just go straight for it. He just didn't want to do the hop. He <laughs> All right. So now I fake my shot. He set back beautifully. Great job. I come straight in here, holding that other leg. I wrap around and I'm stretching out. Okay, so I'm stretching out like that. Now, in this position here, so this is where if you can't, feel like you can't get his weight on it, I'm already at this point going for the heel, you probably feel like you can't get his weight back up. So he's either going to try and back step that way, or he's going to try to roll with the heel that way. Alright? Alright, so we've stretched him out like this, we've got our triangle locked here, our feet are both protected. At this point, I've got control. Let's just say, let's just do the sort of worst of those two options first. So if he tries to back step, he's kind of turning straight into the heel hook. All right, so usually if he feels, if he feels that I'm starting to put pressure here, he's not really gonna turn that way. But if I haven't, say I've just knocked him over, he might quickly try to turn that way, keep turning, keep sitting, sit, sit, and try to hide his heel like that. Because now it makes it hard for me to get the heel hook because he's got his toes turned out and his heel turned in. Okay, so burying your heel is a really good early stage heel hook defense because it makes it very hard to get the angle. All right, so we'll do the whole setup again. He's in the back set, but not there too. So we're out here in our wrestling stance, moving around. I fake my shot. I come around here. Okay, at this point, locking my triangle, stretching out. Now, I haven't got the heel hook yet, so now he tries to back step. Keep going, keep going, and he's trying to hide his heel here. So I'm gonna lock my triangle, I'm gonna tuck my foot in on this near hip. I'm gonna drop down to my head, and I'm gonna kind of bridge up. Okay, as I bridge up, you see it lifts his leg off the floor. So I can't get the heel hook here, because all the weight's on it. When I put my head on the floor and I bridge, it gives me the space to slide my hand back, find his heel, and now from here, I finish belly down. So I just finish the heel hook facing this way. Okay, so one more time. We're out here, we're wrestling, we're changing levels, controlling, I shoot, boom, roll through. Okay, at this point here I keep rolling, I stretch. He now quickly tries to go that way and bury this heel. I go with him, lift by planting my head on the ground. And now I can get that hook, the heel, sorry. Now from here I lock my grip, I arch, and I put the heel hook on. Oh, sorry, I'm trying to get untangled the hardest part. Right, one more time. So we're out here, we're wrestling, we're moving around. We go boom, through. He back steps, so I go with him. I've got my triangle locked here, and my foot's protected. Okay, arch my hips up. So if I'm flat here to start with, that's fine. I just arch, slide my arm back. I should feel his toes under my armpit. Grab the heel, and then from here, I finish. And we'll roll. All right, so same thing. We're out here wrestling, moving around. I fake my shot. He down locks, I go deep. Control the other knee, I'm sorry, the other ankle. As my leg reaches around here, and now I'm gonna to start to stretch. So I push out to make him fall. Now more likely, rather than him going back into the heel hook, because if I start to put this on and he spins that way, he's gonna heel hook himself. Okay, so a more likely scenario, if he can't push his way back up, which is what we covered earlier with the car crash, is he's gonna try and roll in the direction of the heel hook. So I'm gonna keep hold of this leg, as he rolls, so roll for me, I'm going to bridge over my head. Again, lock my triangle on the outside. And now I feel hooked just like I did before. Okay, if you can, you want to finish in nice and tight and low and control that ankle. Remember, we want to have that knee line in. We don't want to be trying to heel hook people with the knee free. So you've got to be in nice and close in here. Lock, and I want this triangle not just sort of flopping where he can hold me or something like that. I actually want to try and tuck this leg under the near side thigh. Okay, so I've got my triangle here, but I'm going to try and tuck my own foot in here. See that? So it's protected. And now from here, I start to arch in, and then I apply my heel. Alright? 
So again, we're out long, we're wrestling here. I shoot and miss. Come around, stretch. Now at this point, he tries to roll. I keep control of this leg, I roll with him, lock my triangle, and again, if I can, I'm just gonna sit up so you can see. I want to dig that foot underneath. Now from here, arch back till I can feel the heel come through. And then from there, I start to apply. Try to keep that nice and tight and use your whole body. So your hips are going in as you're arching back. The other thing you can do if you're struggling, the other hand can grab the heel itself, grab your own wrist, and then start to pull. Okay. So we've got one more time. We're out here, we're wrestling around. I shoot the leg, miss. Roll, bring him down, he rolls, I control. Roll over the top, lock my triangle, get to my position. If this grip doesn't feel comfortable, hold the heel, hold my own wrist, and arch back. The hips going in, 